What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Riding with B. Cray. I am your host, B. Cray, for the day. Um, welcome to my channel. If you are new, I am B. Cray. We talk about just about any and everything on this station. You also get vlogs and you also get brown table talks, which I haven't did in a while. We're going to talk about that in a few minutes. We talk about a lot here. We talk about entertainment news, talk about regular news, talk about military chronicles, talk about everything. If you are OG fan, thanks for the support. Thanks for the love. Remember, I love and appreciate each and every one of y'all. So please continue, you know, your ongoing support. What are we going to talk about today? So first and foremost, I want to say happy Pride Month, even though I am six days late. And by the time y'all see this, I'll probably be eight days late. But happy Pride Month. The best advice I can tell you, be who you want to be and be happy with it. I will always show love to you, whether whatever you are, gay, straight, bisexual, trans. I love everybody. I don't have to understand it to love it, but I love it. OK, so be who you want to be. If you want to come out, come out and enjoy life. If you don't continue to enjoy life all right um one thing i will say don't get distracted by all this this rhetoric they have around pride like stores don't want to do pride merchandise and all that first thing i'm gonna say we don't need pride merchandise to celebrate pride we can celebrate pride each and every day all we want to because we are proud of who we are proud of what we are and proud of what we do so we don't need all them stores it's all these colorful stuff because to me being gay is all about these little funky colors that they're showing in all these stores and all this other stupid mess being gay is who you are and is what you are and that's that all right second thing don't get distracted by all this stuff you hear in the news about you know people's going after trend like you know some of these senators and and the government going after trans, they're going after you they're going after our drag queens. Don't get distracted by it. Continue to live your life. Continue to be happy. Because I'm gonna say this, and I know people are gonna look at me weird, but I'm gonna say it. The main people that's out here fighting for we should not have trans and kids should not be out here, you know, we should not be out here supporting trans and trans kids, and we should not be out here having allowing these drag queens to do these public performances they are your main ones on the deal they don't want to have these public drag performances because they're scared you're gonna find them out there you know what i'm saying they're scared they're gonna be out there you know they're gonna be and matter of fact they usually are your main ones either bent over or on their knees take it however you like i'm telling the truth that's how it is people we got to start accepting the fact that People are going to hate on gays because they hate themselves and they are gay within themselves as well. And they have to eventually come to fruition that they are who they are and they are going to be gay regardless. So just remember that. that that's the biggest part. Remember that. For, for my... For my brown and black people who's out there supporting this this stuff about gays and gay this and gay that and there should be all these laws against gays and everything, all I'm gonna tell you, you out there harping on this stuff, when they get done with the gay community, they going after the black community. So I'm just, what we allow to happen in one community, they're gonna go for the next. Because if they can get away with it in one community, they can get away with it in the second community. So just keep that in the back of your mind, too. Other than that, people enjoy pride. Pride is when we get out there and enjoy our life. You know, I can remember, <laughs> I can remember back when I joined the military and uh, I was a young, confused man, not, show, not knowing what I wanted. And then I think I started to experiment in the uh, when I was in the military, but I was under this law. To, I was under this law called the "Don't Ask, Don't Tell" thing. And uh, you know, people could ask what your what your orientation was, and you couldn't tell it. You had to keep it to yourself. And I met some great people, but I also met some not great people. I also I also met people 
who did not understand, who did not want to understand, and who did not care about people being gay. You know what I'm saying? I had a man tell me to my face, tell me to my face, if we are and we are out on the battlefield. We are out on the battlefield. And I am dying. And you are gay. Let me die. That's exactly what he said. And I looked at him with so much disdain because I came because I came back with him like the, the that the same straight person who you want to save you, how do you know what they do on their spare time when they're not around you? You know? It was just one of the things like I had to put it out there so people could understand. So remember, we gotta continue to educate people. And I told this dude like, you know, what you like, you are hurting your soldiers because if they can't come to you and talk to you about their issues, whether it's gay, straight, bad, whatever, then you're not being a productive leader. Whether you're in the military, whether you're anywhere in the world, you're not being a productive leader. Next, if you are, if, if your child is gay and you don't support your own child, what kind of parent are you? Yeah, I said it. If you, if your child is gay and you don't support your child, what kind of parent are you? You are, you are part of the problem and you need to take a look in the mirror at yourself. You know what I'm saying? But for all the parents who are out here supporting their, supporting their kids, supporting their adults, hey, I salute you, man. You, y'all are rocking it. Y'all are, y'all are doing the thug dizzle. Love your kids. Because that same kid ain't changed none at all. That's still the same kid you raised. Who they decide to love, that's their business and not none of yours. On that note, hey, people enjoy. It is summer. Get out the house. Hey, sun's out, buns out. You know, clouds out, legs out. <laughs> you know, whatever it is. Get out there and enjoy the summer. Enjoy your life. God bless you all. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.